What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know I've taken off the last few days. I've been making adjustments and stuff to my system and the website and stuff like that. I'll get that into that in a second into that yeah I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that in a minute like the video down below as you know $50 giveaway I'm announcing the winner in tomorrow night's video so make sure you spam up that like button down below comment anything down in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I know y'all missed me okay I know y'all did y'all don't have to lie and say you didn't I know you missed me so I'm back in action I'm back baby all right I've been busy I've been handling business got a uh, which by the way let me touch on that now I'm not sure if you guys got the email, but a lot of people in the DFS industry when it comes to DraftKings got emails pretty much telling them no purchasing full lineups when it comes to DraftKings, no more of that, okay? I also got an email pretty much letting me know that not exact words, they didn't put it in exact words, but they pretty much were threatening me like, if you keep fucking dominating us like this and the sharks keep bitching at us, we're going to start, because they can't do anything to me. The only thing they would possibly consider doing probably is harassing my fucking people. You know what I'm saying? So... I changed my system. I'm no longer doing complete lineups for DraftKings for daily people. I do not do daily DraftKings, full lineups, none of that stuff, okay? When it comes to DraftKings in general, we are going to follow the guidelines because the last thing, the, the main thing for me is I want to protect my people, okay? If DraftKings wants to be like that, that's fine. I totally understand. That's their guidelines. It is what it is. We've had a great run on DraftKings when it comes to that, and we've pretty much done all you can possibly do when it comes to that. So, I mean, we hit our peak. Well, I mean, not our peak, but we've done everything. Um, so, pretty much, I'm just switching the system up a little bit to follow the guidelines and still be able to give you guys that juice on the website. So, what it is, is it's a DraftKings uh, cheat sheet, okay? So, instead of the full thing like you guys used to get it's going to be a dollar fifty cheaper so 350 instead of five and it's going to be a DraftKings cheat sheet what it's going to give is my core six it's going to give six players that I'm, I'm building my lineup around and then it, you're going to get the player pool page where it gives all my value my favorite values and my favorite players of each position to roster for that day. Everybody has absolutely loved the player pool and loved the articles. The article is also part of that as well. So for only 350, you will pretty you will still be getting that juice. You just won't run the risk of getting hassled by DraftKings. I strongly suggest that everybody who does do that stuff, I, I suggest that you guys be very, very careful um, buying those from now on because they are very really buckling down on it and it's time for people to really, you know, start you know doing doing uh, the guideline thing at least when it comes to DraftKings that's fine it's all good um, but FanDuel is going to be full their guidelines aren't the same I still provide FanDuel I, I provide Yahoo now as well by the way we are attempting to I've been talking to the higher ups at Yahoo and we are working together to grow Yahoo and make the contest bigger because Yahoo does not have late lock, lineup lock, okay? If something happens, some crazy unexpected twist happens, they will most of the time hook you up with either the exact amount you spent in tickets or your actual money back. So they work with people very well. So I'm, I'm really excited to get into Yahoo. Um, so we are filling up those contests right now. We are getting into Yahoo, growing Yahoo. That way the contests will get bigger as well and it'll be really, really great. The la I started last night. I used to play Yahoo a while back. I got back into it last night, one last night, and I'm going to dominate tonight as well. So Yahoo is a breeze. It is one of the easier sites to cash on. So if you're interested in Yahoo full, FanDuel full, you can go to the website greenlightdfs.com. When it comes to DraftKings, go hit up for that DraftKings cheat sheet. Go ahead and get that core six and the value plays and all that and build yourself something real nice and sexy and take down all those sharks and not run the risk of DraftKings fucking with you. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. I understand what, what it is. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get straight into high five, guys. All right?
Let's get straight into it. Starting off at point guard, I'm going with Damian Lillard against OKC. OKC has been struggling a lot versus guards in general ever since Roberson's been out. We know that Damian Lillard's only 8,700, and this should be a competitive game between these teams. So locking Damian Lillard, traveling the OKC at 8,700. At shooting guard, I'm going with my main man, Joe Ingles, against a beat-up Golden State team without their best perimeter defender in Klay Thompson. Um, Stephen Curry got hurt again, so he will not be playing. Uh, Kevin Durant is hurt. Draymond Green is probable to play, but he's there. I wouldn't be surprised if they limit him with all the injuries they're going through. There's no reason to push him, especially with them locked to the playoffs. So, um be mindful of that. But Joe Ingles is in a great spot here at 6,200. Lock in my boy, Joe Ingles. All right. Uh, at power forward, when it comes to tanking teams, you really need to start, especially this time of the year, you really need to start looking at these young guys for teams. John Collins is one of them. These younger guys are going to start getting good minutes. Against Houston, it's a good matchup. Uh, keep in mind, uh, there's a good chance that James Harden could sit this one out. Okay. In my mind, I'm not sure if Chris Paul is going to play. I don't know. I mean, these they're really not fighting for anything. They're a lock. So it's the end of the year. They're probably going to take care of their guys. I'm pretty sure Harden's most likely going to sit here in this one. That would be my guess. Um, Chris Paul could possibly sit as well. This game is a good one for John Collins. I love him at 4,700. He's a young guy on a tanking team. He's going to play some good minutes. I absolutely love it. At guard... I'm going to go with another cheap guy because I got a big dog at the end. Emmanuel Moutier at only 4,200. He's been consistent and he's going against Washington, against Sadoransky. I will take that. I love Emmanuel Moutier for value on this slate at 4,200. Uh, so make sure you get him worked into your lines. Last but not least in utility, Russell Westbrook at home in OKC to run back my love for Damian Lillard. This Portland OKC uh, game is one of my favorite games to target on this slate okay it's definitely one of my favorite games to target on this slate get involved in this game I also love CJ McCollum versus OKC I like Corey Brewer um, Paul George there's a lot of guys but they're they're Paul George is a little expensive and CJ McCollum is actually a really good price though so that's it guys Damian Lillard Joe Ingles John Collins Emmanuel Moutier for value and Russell Westbrook I'm gonna do a little something a little different in this video all right I'm gonna do something a little bit different um, I was speaking of Yahoo, okay, I was speaking of Yahoo earlier, we're really trying to work on getting Yahoo bigger and help Yahoo out to get those contests bigger because I know every single one of you watching is excited to not deal with lineup lock anymore. So if Yahoo makes those contests much bigger, it's going to be amazing. So starting off at uh, some cheap guys on Yahoo that I like, Fred Van Vliet is damn near minimum, he's $11. Um, by the way, the pricing is different on Yahoo. $10 is the minimum price on Yahoo. Fred Van Vliet's only $11 on a Toronto team that's not really playing their starters too much anymore. Van Vliet's been getting a lot of run lately, and he's been doing very, very well. So Van Vliet on Yahoo, I really, really like. Eric Gordon at $17. Like I said, Harden is playing tonight. They're on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. He, he was a little wobbled by an ankle injury the other day. I wouldn't expect him to play uh, at all or at least be limited here in this matchup. So Eric Gordon could be a very good play here. On Yahoo, I really like CJ McCollum at 27. Um, like I said, that game, I love the Portland uh, OKC game. So get involved with CJ on Yahoo. Joe Ingles on Yahoo too. And, um, a, a few other cheap options real quick I'm just going to throw at you. Greg Monroe for Boston is $11 on Yahoo. And Emmanuel Moutier is bare minimum on Yahoo. So that's it, guys. Good luck, everybody. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm out.